Hello everyone, this is Red with RedDragonLeo.com. It is Sunday the 22nd of January. It's been a while since I've done a video. I really just didn't see the uh, need to do one because I kind of knew that um, they were going to just float this market higher and manipulate it during that light volume Christmas season that we had and uh, it has now continued into most of January which uh, is actually a surprise I didn't think they would do it this long but we've kind of all known that they are going to float this thing up and go twer toward <laughs> let me say that toward the the uh, downward sloping trend line right here we've kind of we kind of suspected that of course we didn't know for sure but we are just a hair away from it we're not too far away I think in the last videos I said that there's a possibility we could go up to about that 1320 area on the SPX and uh, it's looking more and more like it's uh, going to go up that way and and hit that uh, hit this trend line um, the wild card here is that we do have a fake print from last year showing 138.86 on the SPY and um, that uh, has never been hit yet so there is still a wild card possibility that this trend line could be broken and we could go up to that area uh, if that were to happen then we would essentially be um, let's see here if I can get my little tool to draw with and see if it works this time okay so here on a monthly basis this would obviously be a pierce of this will it happen this month or the next month at the first of February and pierce up here and hit break this trend line put in a new high that is approximately 1388 on the SPX this fake print of 138 86 SPY is from last year so it's a year old it's from 2010 and um, that uh, you know it, it's still possible they could be hit I, I don't know I mean that's the, the wild card chart chart wise it would tell you that we're just basically going to hit this trend line and then turn back down and of course this would be uh, some type of wave three if um, if this big move up here is a wave two and this is a wave one uh, then this whole move down here is a wave three and inside it a wave one a wave two and another wave three so it's a multitude of wave threes here on the on the monthly chart so you could call this the whole big move down of course again is primary wave three and then the first move down I guess you call that intermediate wave one then up is I2 so you get the idea I've done this numerous times we're just waiting on it to happen then intermediate wave 3 and inside intermediate wave 3 I don't know what you want to call them call them whatever you want to call them we can call it a major wave I, I, the names really isn't important so we've already had the major wave 1 we're finishing up on the major wave 2 up right now uh, major wave 2 up and that one was down so what we're waiting on here is is major um, major wave three down to start inside of intermediate wave three inside of primary wave three. This will be the largest wave yet. It'll be a three 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 combination, which will be absolutely huge. And of course, on the first move down, it will be a one and a two and then a three and so at some point so when we first start down we're going to have that and when we get to three 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 it's going to really be ugly because that would be if you got a minor wave you're going to have a major uh, a major wave but you'll have a minor wave inside of that and etc 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 so i'm not going to go into this too much because uh, honestly the the charts just don't seem to work uh clearly it, you, this was manipulated up you could see right here that uh, we should have rolled over down here and continued down and they didn't they rolled this up they kept this going up into the stratosphere 
Uh, you can see right here it was rolling over, rolling over, and they stopped it. They injected uh, some type of QE, um, QE3, QE4, QE5, whatever. They injected it into the market to keep it from crashing. It should have crashed right there. Right here when we hit that low, that it should have just kept on going down. That should have been wave one, two, and that should have been a massive wave three. And they stopped it dead in its track. Um, so, so we know that the market is manipulated. So trying to do this with the charts, folks, that's one of the reasons I haven't done anything here lately. Besides the fact that I have been busy with some other things and not trading the market during this time period because I knew that I would absolutely get killed. Light volume and trying to trade options, you just get killed. You get murdered. So I focused on some other websites I've been building and, and stuff that have nothing to do with the stock market. But uh, had I tried to trade this, I would have been killed because clearly right here, it, you know, it looked like it's ready to go down. It didn't. It went back up. And then it hovered around, you know, it wants to go down, wants to go down. Just keep on going up. They just keep on doing it. This is a major, major rising wedge. When's it going to break? Um, well, that's actually more like that. But I guess you just keep redrawing that as it goes along. It... Um, you know it's going to break at some point I mean right here we were rolling over you had your negative divergence right here uh, and we were rolling over we should have continued down we didn't we went up here we should have rolled over and you can see that it rolled over here and they turned it right back up should have rolled over there they turned it right back up they're going up here into the stratosphere folks I mean it is it is crazy as it be as it is it should have rolled over uh, many many times past it has not done so so trying to do this on a chart basis and tell you on the charts that it should have rolled over is you know hang on